Hi, my name's Hannah and today I'm reviewing the Alice buggy from Amazon. So I've had this buggy for about a month now because I think it's good to have a good tether on before I upload a video like this. So, um, it came delivered like Amazon Prime I've got, so it came delivered like really quickly for me. And it came in a really good box, it was packed really well, good padding, and this folds amazing. I will show you that in a bit. Um, the good thing about this buggy is if you're on a holiday, it's like the best buggy for holiday. Apparently in some airlines, um, they will let you put it up in the overhead compartment. Um, apparently it's most of them, but you've got to purchase the bag that it can go in to allow you to put it on the overhead compartment separately, but you can get it from, from the company, from Amazon, to fit this type of buggy. But it would have been nice if they had put it in, you know. Um, the buggy cost me £104, um, I don't know if it's gone up or down since then, but I'll put the link in the description bar below. Um, and if you come on closer, I will show you the best features um, of more closer to seat unit. Um, my little girl is 16 months now, and she's got a thing about bumper bars. So my main feature that I like is bumper bars and the seat size, because I've had previous buggies like the Bugaboo B and it was like really short to sit in and she kept sliding around and so it's important that I got a deep enough seat and a bumper bar because she's obsessed. So this bumper bar I really like though because some you can't, you have to take off completely to put back on again but this one you just push the button and it releases like it's so easy and to even take these off to get them cleaned you can pop them out like that and I think that's such a good thing to do to have um and yeah just click that together and it's in um the seat like if you can see like the, the check like is that would you say checkered pattern or um, quilted that was it i think that's a really nice touch um and you get the um like head supports or neck chest pads a five point harness uh which you can press but the only thing I would find that is a little bit of a annoying is obviously when you put it in like this, which is very easy to do, but you have to put it in and then clip like that. But they can come apart quite easy like that. Did you see that it comes off pretty, you know, easy? So that's only a minor thing. I would like it to like stick in a little bit better. But apart from that, like it's really secure. My little one can't figure out how to like open that. Um, I like the little crown detailing, that's really cute. And gray is really in fashion at the moment. So, you know, it just looks good for girls and boys. Um, Cause mine's a girl and she's loving gray. Under here, there's a little, like a little pull out lever to put it up flat, um, which is really good if they're having a nap or they've got little legs and you don't want them dangling yet. And then you can just push it away and for the bigger kids, they've got the footrest, um, which is really nicely padded and supported. So yeah, I love that bit. And there's a peekaboo window, which you can see from behind, and a stender hood, and there's like an extra flap. Really, I would like it to be a little bit further out because that's not like massively loads, but it is some like from the sun rays, but I think a little bit lower if they could improve anything but you know, they've got hats on and you can buy like other visors to sort of help with the sun. That's not a major issue for me. Um, there's loads of other pros I would say for this buggy. Um, so we're turning it around. A massive basket, I think. I had to purchase the rain cover separately. Um, this is just a universal one, it's really good actually. So I will put the link in description bar below as well because it's so good some of them rip really easily this is proper tough and i think it cost me i can't remember like 12 pounds or something and it's even got like air vents i love it and they can hold up really small but if you come and look at the size of this buggy buggy if you come and look at the size of this basket should i say i can fit loads and normally with strollers you can't really fit a lot in strollers like silver cross strollers you can't fit a lot in but this one goes all the way to the back i've got gloves hats a bag this and i can even fit my daughter's you know big changing bag in there my handbag in there 
Um, but the only thing is, you've got to be careful, there's a tiny, like, under here, I can't really show you, but at the end, it's like, it, oh, what would you say? I'm trying to think. <laughs> so my husband is filming, so I'm trying to think to him, like, hmm, what would you, it's like, there's a gap, isn't there, really, but only about this big. So anything little could slide out. So what I do is I put the changing bag like first and then nothing's gonna fall. Changing bag, rain cover. <laughs> I put the rain cover in so nothing else would like to slip out, but it wouldn't slip out. It's literally about this wide, but just in case. Um, so yeah, and then the back has a peekaboo window. To light the buggy down, it can go all the way to the bottom, which I think is a really other good feature because not many go all the way to the bottom um but if i was gonna if they were to improve it then i would just suggest to having this back bit because you pull for it to tighten and just squeeze to loosen as much as you like the good thing about that is you can do you can adjust it to how many levels you like some buggies are set levels but with this you can just up down as high as you want you know or tighten it as high as you want it would just be nice if it was a more of a, a clip one because when my child's sitting in it i have to like tell her to sit up a little bit and really pull but that's a tiny con i wouldn't say that would not make me ever buy it again um and the brake this is just a one foot brake red is brake obviously and release the wheels are really cute and nice and small and they are like a I don't know if they're plastic. No, I'd say they're plastic with a rubber wheel. And I've been using this on gravel, grass, mud, the beach for the last month. And nothing's worn away. They're still really good. You can put the catch at the back here and you can flick it down and it just makes the wheels go straight. So if you're on an uneven surface, then, you know, it's just easier to push. The colour's really nice. It's so sturdy. The brake is amazing. The brake. I don't want to get my words wrong today. The, um, help me out, Harvey. What am I thinking? The folding. That is it. The folding um, is one handed and it's super easy. So, literally, you're probably going to have to see. I press this button here and pull in. So, press, pull. And you'll get used to it and then push and clip and the side there's a little catch but look at that like it is so light I can put it on my arm for me on my own when I get in the car get in the boot I can just throw it in I can even have baby on one side throw it in the boot it even fits in my mum's um Ford little what car she got Fiat 500 yeah and they are tiny boots I don't even know you know, if you're a family person and that's got that car, you're going to need a teeny weeny buggy and it fits in and still gives room for space for shopping. So that's a miracle. Um, and super light, so you can put it in the overhead compartment if you get the correct bag. On oh, public transport, amazing. Um, to unfold, you simply, the lever here, like that. Done. Job done. Like... How easy is that if you're on public transport by yourself and you have a baby in one hand? I would just fold it one more time because that first go I was a bit, you know. Simply press, down, click, and we're done. Now come on, folding is a big thing for me when I'm on my own. Boot size for the buggy, you need it to be small, slim. It's really narrow, but not narrow enough i have to get a picture of my daughter in it she's got bags of room in it she's so comfy she doesn't slip or slide out of it it keeps her really well and um, she feels even more secure with the bumper bar um i just can't afford you really so the only things i would change or adjust would be the back breast support and the back lever to recline the buggy it would be better if it was a click a handle but I quite like that I can adjust it to any level I like so I'm not sure if I would change it or not and I can't remember what the thing that I said can you remember what the thing I said the bag yeah I could it would be nice if a bag did come with it and an extra rain cover but for £12 I did buy the rain cover universal one and it fit amazingly 
So really there's, oh, and maybe making the straps a little bit, um, a little bit, you know, tighter here for when you're trying to get them in, just for a bit more easy access, like when you quickly want them to get them in as quick as possible, like if they can ping open a bit like that. But I am pulling on it, but it doesn't really make a difference because once I've got it in, super easy and just in, job done. And I think it's really pretty and really nice. I've got a universal um, foot muff that I use in it and it fits perfectly. This is also from eBay. This is so warm and so thick. I got it for £20 and I turn it inside out so that if I want grey on it for some days or the little heart pattern and it fits perfect and it keeps her snug for winter. So yeah, I can't wait for the summer though because that quilted pattern does look absolutely beautiful. So I don't know what else more I can say. Did I show you the peekaboo window? Yeah, and it comes even more visible when she's lying down. Literally, you can see her, which is great. So I love this buggy. I've tried oh, a lot of buggies. Bugaboo chameleons, I do love them. For a newborn baby, they're fantastic. They took me everywhere and grass, sand, whatever. But um, just for lightness and nipping here and there, shopping, even though I was in for a full day out on this. And without a fail, it's, it's smooth, it's nice. So totally would recommend it. 10 out of 10 for me. Well, I'd say nine out of 10, just for like the tweaks, but that's pretty high for a slim line, small nippy buggy to just go around the shops. I don't have to worry about getting through aisles or little doorways. It just goes really good and it's really smooth. So I hope you like this video. Hopefully I haven't left anything out. This is my first review um video so if you like it give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and if you'd like to see me do any more videos like this on i've got loads of things i could review because i'm a mum of three um so yeah my house is pretty full so yeah give me a comment below and i'll speak to you soon bye